Hey everyone, I'm going to react to My Hero Academia Season 6, Episode 24, A Young Woman's Declaration. I just finished watching last episode. I had to like splash water over my face um, before I get into this one. I want to finish the whole My Hero Academia today. And there's only like two episodes left. So after this one, there's only the one. So I'm like, you know what? I want to get through all of this and be done with my emo emotional self <laughs> with My Hero. It's like... This is like three episodes straight that I've been crying. So it's like, I'm tired of crying. And hopefully this episode won't be like that. I don't know. I guess we'll see. And I'm pretty sure the young woman's declaration is Uchako doing the, her thing. Because when, after they convinced, well, they convinced, they be, <laughs> basically, um, be, um, they go into submission. And then he passed out. And then they brought him back to the school. And then you have those people there that are like, we don't want him here because Awful One is after him. So, yeah, that's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys have a reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please consider supporting my Patreon at patreon.com slash feelingmini. And I'll start this episode. And here we go. <laughs> I don't, I was about to say that I don't know if it's, if it's because I've been carrying my, all my emotions from the few previous episodes into this one that I started crying this one as well, but I don't think so. I feel like even if I had a couple of weeks pass before watching it, I would still cry because when heroes are suffering, who will be there for them and the people that are there for them are The people they are trying to save, you know. Um, I, I love that flashback of when Ochako was like, when she was looking at a hero do that thing, and then she looked into the crowd, then she saw how people were smiling and happy, and then they go back to the hero that did his thing, and you see the hero being tired and hurting and everything but then because he heard the encouragement from the people that were there it brought a smile to him you know he regained a kind of strength you know and that's basically what she was trying to convey to the people inside of ua you know and they were not they didn't want deku to be there and you could see how dejected Deku was feeling in the background, you know, because he agreed with everything that they were saying. He, that's why he left the school, because he didn't want to put anybody else in danger. So when these people were like, why are you bringing him here, you know? And you see the tension mount, and then Uchako floated up there and just started talking to them. When she told them to look at Deku. And then you look at him and you see how battered and tired he is. And in the crowd, I recognize three people. The girl that he saved, um, that was being... That those people were shooting water guns or something at and he saved her and then Kota was there and then the guy that was speaking to them after um, Chako did his speech that was the same dude that was in the first episode of my hero he was in the crowd when um the the villain first villain whatever that showed up in the um in the show was doing rampaging inside tattooing i think and it was the the tree guy that was there you know and then that they came there and there was the guy that was right beside him that was like you must be a fanboy right that is him you know and he's the one 
after Ochako did his her thing, he's the one that basically convinced everybody else to give Deku a chance. I just love that moment. After Ochako talked to them, and then you see um, the girl he saved in Kota. Kota bought red shoes. <laughs> because those are the kind of shoes that Deku wore, wears. And then he ran to him. <laughs> Deku has taken so much on himself and he's given up so much and for these two to reach out to him and then he looks up to them being there for him And then the main um, person that started instigating, oh, uh, that was basically rebelling against Deku being there. <sighs> Approaching him with the umbrella, you know. Like, that's my thing. Like, the heroes have been giving everything to protect these people. And I'm like, what are you guys doing for them? you just criticizing them. Like, all around. There are people, there are some of them that understand. But the others that keep criticizing them and all of that. What are you guys doing for them? In this particular case, they were there for Izuku. <sighs> oh, I'm tired of crying. The security system that they have, oh my goodness. That is so sophisticated and so awesome. It is the best place for them to be, for those people to be, and for Deku to be, so that he can regain his strength. I love when they showed um, um, Aizawa as well, when the principal told Aizawa that it was his students that convinced the people, you know. Oh, this is there, man. Oh, I'm tired. I really am tired. <sighs> Hopefully in this episode, no more crying. Okay, like no more crying. When they started this episode, you know, I felt like when I was about to go into this episode that I was going to cry, but I was hoping that I wasn't going to cry, you know. But then they started the episode with the, um, the talking about the new system and how amazing it was. And I'm like, oh, and, but then they went into the speeches and everything. And then the, the, the crying started again. And I'm like, okay, now that uh, hopefully we are done with the crying, you know, we're not. Oh, yeah. Oh, how could I forgot to mention this? Staying. All Might left the school. It's like he's gonna try to convince those people that are anti heroes or whatnot. And then Stain is there looking at Oh my god, I'm like, What are you about to do, boy? Like, like I said previously, Stain is like my favorite villain, but like, don't do anything to All Might, though. I've, he shouldn't be going after All Might, right? Because All Might is is a good hero. He's not like a fake hero or anything, you know? So why would he be looking at him like... I don't know. What is he trying to do? I don't know. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you want to see my reaction to the final episode, you can do so by checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash And you can also see the full of this reaction there as well, so... Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.
Bye. <laughs>